For one weekend every year, the whole of the Irish rowing world descends upon this little town outside of Cork, in Ishkara, home of the National Rowing Centre. I think this might be the most fun weekend on the rowing calendar, the Irish Rowing Championships. hospitality is unmatched. After I said bye to Lucerne and my new friends from World Rowing, I stayed with Colm in Dublin for a few days and then grabbed the train to Cork, where I was picked up by the legendary skibbering coach, Dominic Casey. I only met the Caseys a week before in the boat park in Lucerne, and they immediately offered me a place to stay with them if I needed it for chance. Now this, this is a good car. As I walked around the boat park on the final day of practice, Honestly, it felt like I'd come back home. Jeez, you think that lens is big enough? Good to see you. Hey! <laughs> I hadn't been back in a couple years because of COVID, so getting a chance to see a bunch of my old teammates and friends for the first time in years made the trip absolutely worth it. John! Oh my God! Hello! <laughs> Times it felt like I never left. Oh, well, well, well. Oh, well, well. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you want to get back on with that? <laughs> I really wish I was racing. Look at that, man. That's fucking amazing quality. After hanging out with the national team during a whoop photo shoot, Dominic and I headed back to Skibbereen, where we stopped by the club for a quick tour before dinner. We're getting some good Irish spuds. <laughs> <laughs> The Irish morning sunrise poked through the clouds and warmed the rolling hills and tidal rivers of Skibbereen. Champs weekend had officially arrived. Champs, which started in 1912 with the senior men's eight, hosts the championship regatta for juniors, novice, club, intermediate, and senior level rowers. It seems like it sucks in like 2009. After the age groups, there's a whole point system based on past results to determine what events rowers can actually compete in, so they can kind of avoid rowing smurfs just trying to collect some pots, but everyone can always race up a level. As the first race of the day, the women's J16 Cox quads came storming down the course. I was brought right back to racing here in 2019 with Commercial Rowing Club. I wish I'd gotten a chance to race a second time with DUBC in 2020, but we all know how that went down. Seeing them launch for their races really makes me miss being part of a sweeping team. Hold on, we'll get the man that's normally behind the camera. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> lovely. Oh, that's lovely that's now. It. Okay, go on then. Right? You take this now. I'm very upset holding it. <laughs> very, oh, you're swinging it around very casually <laughs> like there, Eamon. When you walk around this regatta, you see hundreds of families set up in tents prepping food, supporters clapping out boats, kids running along the water with dogs abound. It's truly one big Irish family at this point and it is my favorite club rowing scene that I've ever experienced. Yeah, look at that thing. How are you feeling? Good, tired. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. I like that. Oh, everyone in, everyone in. Hey. <laughs> go hard, go no, okay, okay. Any, any? I have a mouthful of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> First one in the single. First one. <laughs> she loves it. She can't escape. <laughs> I spent the whole weekend soaking in my last bit of European summer racing, walking around, recording whatever shots made me think, this is why I love Irish rowing. 
I watched as gold medal Olympians battled it out. Well, well, well. That was Second. gross. How did cross the line? Sarah crying. Celebrated. Then I got sick. So, pretty good. Was that you puking over there? Yeah. <laughs> Junior eights were decided by a bow ball. Uh, you, oh, wow. And thousands of people just hung along the banks of this Inishkara Reservoir, loving on, this sport. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> I feel like it's like, there's some victories where it's like, you don't expect it and you win, and you're really happy. And there's other ones where it's like, relief. <laughs> that was yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm very happy to win. Yeah? 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 Yes. Looking good? Ready Lovely to go? Looking super. This will be uh, for the senior eights. I'll be following along, but for a bunch of the other races. So. And there's my driver. <laughs> oh, yeah. And of course, I had to hop on a launch before the weekend ended. Hello. Hey. It's about to be the senior eight. It's go time. Happy champs, everybody. Yeah. I'm glad we got to follow the last races down. Yeah, you see And as the final boats docked, the last pots were awarded and champs was officially over. The men's senior race and the champions of Ireland for 2022 are UCD Boatlift. It's such a funny thing, this sport, taking me all around the world but sometimes right back home. Getting the chance to travel and film rowing really is a dream, and I'm glad I get to share it, even if it is slightly later than expected. Hey, are you okay? I'm oh, great, thank you so much. As a thanks for hosting me, I actually made Skibbereen's 50th anniversary video, so I thought I'd add it in so y'all could enjoy it as well. Hi, lads, how things? What's the crack?
they're very, very tough race. Um, the hardest of races. Uh, I have to go home with my coach and think about it deeply. But what did go wrong? I have to look, look and think about it. Think about it deeply, very deeply. Call for yourself, your fifth consecutive World Championship gold medal. How does that make you feel? Oh, it's fine, yeah. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Being here with, obviously, the girls. <laughs> Our families, we train, we train side by side every day. You're not sick of the side of each other by this day, no? Not yet. It's simple enough, You're really. You're too yeah. complex, really. Oh. Just A to B as fast as you can go. Yeah. About going A to B fast as you can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Tis, a, tis a fairly simple sport, like. <laughs> Close your eyes and pull like a dog. <laughs> pull like a dog? Is that a phrase? No. <laughs> well, there's no, apparently. <laughs> Skibbereens after closing down a national holiday or something. They weren't missing it all. So as the weekend came to a close and the boat park emptied out, I'm done. I took one last walk through it. I listened in on the late Martin Feely signing off on a perfect weekend for his UCD crew that had won all the men's eights. Bye, Frank. Did you think of the coaches of UCD behind us? Ah, they're grand. Hey. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and of course, we're definitely going out for Champs Night. Champs night is legendary, but I got ready to head back to Dublin, saw some friends, and prepped to fly back to the US. Maybe this will be a cool Dutch angle thing. Welcome to my last night in Dublin. I am only up because United canceled my flight from Chicago to Austin, Texas. But instead of flying back home for two weeks before I started my new job, I was actually headed to Waco, Texas to check out a club that my friend was rebuilding. Last night in Europe. I can't believe it. Holy six weeks. I don't know how I'm going to end this video. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will catch you in the next one. See ya. Was that fun? <laughs> <laughs>